Welcome to another Debaco University video. Here we're going to be looking at individual and class evidence. So when we're looking at identifying potential evidence, does it fall into a category where we're looking at we can eliminate large or make broad statements to kind of put it into a class category? Or are we able to refine that down to a potential individual? So when we're looking at evidence in general, we want to keep in mind that typically we're looking at this class, this general category of physical evidence. Physical evidence is any item that can be established as a link between the crime and a victim or the perpetrator. Examples are document, uh, hair, fibers, fingerprints, soil, and blood would all fall in the category of physical evidence. Now, class evidence, a little refinement on that physical evidence, characteristics of this physical evidence that can be associated only with a group and not a single source falls under the category of class evidence. The intention of this is to reduce the number of suspects, but it cannot pinpoint one person or source. An example would be blood type, fibers, paint. These are all examples of class evidence. So if we're looking at and identifying that there's A positive blood at the scene, well, that will eliminate the other blood types, but it won't uh, specify an individual person. If we find certain fibers, we might find a garment that they may match uh, closely with, but it doesn't say it was that garment. In contrast, when we have individual evidence, well, the characteristics of individual evidence are that physical evidence that can be connected uh, to a common source with a high degree of certainty. Anything that contains nuclear DNA, tool marks, for example, also fingerprints, can fall under the general category of being individual evidence because we're able to eliminate a lot more potential suspects and get ideally to that single person. Now keep in mind hair uh, as an example here. Um, hair varies in texture from one region of the body to another. It can only be used to determine similarities and not a single source connection. Therefore, hair uh, falls under the category of class evidence. Example, how round or oval the cross section is. Uh, typically, Caucasians tend to have more of that rounder kind of appearance to them. Oval, flat, and cross section tends to be more that of African Americans. But again, this is only class evidence and not looking at identifying any one particular individual.